Welcome back to AWF Chaos. We just saw the Bread Killers defend the Tag Team Championships of the world in the opening matchup. That was a fantastic matchup, Marayad. Knocking off the RSVP, who, I mean, that, that is a big win for the Bread Killers. I mean, RSVP, they're accomplished tag team veterans, especially Silver Viper, who the pin was made on. But nevertheless, we have Starfire, this young woman, this young athletic woman coming out now. Definitely a fan favorite with the AWS Faithful. Has an opportunity at the, the, the Women's Championship of the World. Mysteries Women's World Championship. So, you know, she's in high spirits. But the woman that, you know, she, she did at the expense of Angela. Well, I mean, she's here right now. She's in that locker room, man. And she's, she's, she's biding her time. She feels like that shouldn't have been a tie. And all I'm saying is, Angela, I agree with you. I mean, it looks like... To me, Agent Ann, I know you, you know, you you, you got on my case that about dive. you. If you mention that dive one more god well, damn listen, time. Watching the tape, it seemed watching to me that tape. Angela did not whip Starfire with glasses. no force to go over. And now we're being ableist. Listen. Ableist? I'm just saying. Angela. What? Angela. No, 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 no if you allow me to finish my thought here, Angela did not whip Starfire over that top rope with enough force to send her careening to the floor. That seemed like something of Starfire. Look at her shoulders! She knew, Starfire knew, had she gotten back in that ring with Angela, it would be, this match would be happening. It would she be had, Angela it was like who punches her ticket. 10 seconds left in the goddamn match. And Angela. And it takes three seconds to pin someone. So why did Angela throw her out of the ring knowing her damn strength? I don't know. You know what? Stop being Well, listen. Excuse. The thing is, she didn't throw Agent her out of the Case ring. She was going to throw her on the this world. broadcast, I think you should check his phone. That's all I'll say. You should check his phone. You should check. You should just check him. Just check him. Just well, clock well, him well, one for me. Clock him one. We're about to see who is the superior competitor right now. There's no... There's no stipulations well, on this. Again, we're about to see Angela Starfire face off. This is for the women's world title shot. Whoever faces her, oh, whoever wins this matchup faces mystery at one night. Stand and the dead lifting. You're going to tell me this woman didn't mean to throw her out of that ring. Here's Starfire is going to check Angela one good. You know, your implication that Angela cannot control her own strength to me is alarming, is what I think. I mean, look at that. Starfire has very large shoulders as well. Do you, should Angela should have went flying over that turnbuckle? And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! And here we Power go. Powerbomb! What's going for a big Hurricane Rana? But... Uh-huh. And uh -huh. looks like Starfire is taking a dive again. I'm not going to say a damn thing. To escape the assault of Angela. Last but the former women's oh! is not going to let up at all. Look at her. She can't control a damn thing. Shoulder block. Misses. And oh, Starfire. Starfire. Look at, look at this tower. Look, look at Starfire. Cheap shot and goulash. First you dive over the top rope. Then you cheap shot and demanding a girl. Demanding Angela get back in his, into the ring. And I don't even like goulash, but I, I, I can, can see you there that Starfire. How can shot a 6'7 zombie? A 6'10 zombie. Tell me that. Here. Checks. Here. Another one. Right into the mat. And see the We Love Angela signs in the background. They're seeing Angela get the tar beaten out of her. Over the shoulders. Starfire. Going to show her how to do a power bomb. Right up to the concrete floor and Starfire up to the top row. Big splash. And Starfire in that ringside area now. Looking over at those fans that had those Angela signs. <laughs> the, the cunning of the lady. Hoisting up. Nope, Angela out the way. Back up. Big and things like that, kick. folks. In things like that. Welcome to prime time are the differences between veterans and rookies. Things like that are the differences between former women's world champions and, and number one contenders. On the outside. What the hell is wrong with her? What's wrong with her 
Well, I mean, since Starfire loves the concrete so much, he's going to make her get more acquainted with it. That's what it seems to me. Oh, right there. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One, two, not to be. <laughs> Starfire thought she was going to punch her ticket with another fluke. You're going to have to pin Angela Soders to the mat. One, two, three. If you want any Almost chance of beating a mystery. Going ringside is Goulash. And look at it. I mean, it is, it, oh, oh, oh! Again, Goulash now is Goulash standing up for himself. Back into Angela's fist. Rammed into the turn into the ringside. Damn. Damn. Come on now. Come on, Starfire. I feel like Starfire is letting, letting the, the people of this crowd, letting, letting Angela's little, little zombie lock in and beat the ch oh and the count is still going they're on the outside starfire all but had this match won if those fans didn't lift those signs up and she saw powerbomb again oh you mean to tell me that starfire would have had this match if there are no fans in this arena well listen this is the professional the wrestling is business, going. All right this is the hurt business and there ten. will be an audience and just like that angela there you go just became the number one contender for the women's world title. She will face mystery soon. One night stand. Starfire. Yo, I, I, Angela, well, you better go you and thank those fans and shake, shake, shake their hands. Give them an autograph or something. Hey, Janae, are you really discrediting a two-time women's world champion? I mean, are she you doing like that right now in the Prime times on the outside and get a count out win. I'm unimpressed if that's how you get your world title shots after two times around the world. Well, she got it all the same, and she certainly didn't do it by diving over the top rope. We have more AWF Chaos up next.